All right, so we're playing Vladimir against Twisted Fate. We're playing against Platinum Elo. This Twisted Fate is quite good. He's a plat for Twisted Fate main. He has about 60% win rate on 260 games, which is quite decent. And I love to show you guys this matchup because this matchup is very hard for Vladimir since Twisted Fate basically counters me very hard. Now, he doesn't counter me in the 1v1 that hard. I can even dodge his uh, gold card. He counters me in the fact that he can easily push in waves and roam very, very fast. That is what he can do. And that is very dangerous because that way he can impact the game and make his team win and snowball before I can ever skill in time. So my goal, if you look at my uh, Southerner spell matchup, uh, setup and Doran's ring and my rune setup with Ares Scorch, you should notice that I am going full aggressive here. I'm going to prevent him from roaming. Now, how do you do that? You do that by keeping him interested in you and in general, keeping him low. If he's low, he's not going to roam. He's not going to ult to bot or top if he has only 20 HP or 300 HP maybe. So if I can keep him low, that would be very good. Now in early, I don't have to do that that much. But around level 5, level 6, I should start to get him low. Alright, so we just take short trades. That way we stay healthy. We're playing against Mordekaiser jungle. Scuttle will spawn in just a bit. So it would actually be smart to put a ward out here. Yeah, Mordekaiser is in the river here. He's going top lane. Mordekaiser is still hovering mid side. Yeah, he's coming. Alright. That's kind of sad. I'm uh, playing it a little bit too aggressive here. You should be dead. And I level up. <laughs> Calculate it. Alright, perfect. So now he's going to have a roam timer. He's level 5. If I were him, I would just hard push this. He, I think he got 6 from this. And then he roams onto the map. Let's see. If he doesn't hard push, I might actually be able to freeze it. Yeah, I will be able to freeze it. Ideally, I look to trim the wave a little bit here, so that he can't crash it. going to ghost for that just to make sure that we get a little bit more lane priority and he gets low enough that way he can't just randomly roam you can see right now he, he is not roaming he is level 6 and he's not roaming which is perfect if we can keep him in lane I don't have to put a ward because I see Mordekaiser topside actually I'm really trying to pressure him, making sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to put a ward here because Mordekaiser might show up. I'm really making sure he's not roaming, always getting him in vision. Yeah, walking up to get him in vision. Yeah, just like that. And there's not much you can do like this, if you just play like this, but we have to go very aggressive here. Ah, I should have ulted him, I could have killed him actually. Mordekaiser is under enemy red. I'm going to fast push this. Well, at least, oh, he stays. Oh, now he fucked up. Yeah, now he misses this entire wave. I'm gonna walk here to the top side, because I don't know where Mordekaiser is. We saw him on Red Buff, so he might be coming. 
So we are currently uh, 22 CS ahead of him. And we're two levels ahead of him, or like uh, one level at least. He's gonna get level 7 from the next wave. But like one level, one level and a half. So we're very, very, very fat. Alright, so he ulted while his wave is pushing away from him. So he's getting desperate. So now he's really struggling because he's losing a lot. If I just let the wave like this, I don't push. I just let the wave like this. He's struggling a lot because his minions are worth more than my minions. So my minions die a lot, which is the gold and XP that he wants to get. This is the perfect uh, video basically to show you how to play against Wizard Fate. Just keep him pressured at all times and create situations where if he roams, he's really fucked. And he's dead. Alright, perfect. So this game is going really, really good. Now this, against Twisted Fate, is very dangerous. And I do it on purpose to show you guys. So now I greed it for the plate. Now let's see what happens. So I want to back, because I have like enough for my mythic item. Now let's see what happens. We create a window for Twisted Fate to ult. Now that we backed, he pushes in this wave, and he moves onto the map. This is the danger. So how could I have solved this? Not taking the plate. Right now again, I cleared the wave very fast. So this means that we uh, will both get out of vision. So if I stay here in front of his turret, at least I see to where he's going to roam. If I stand all the way back here, I will not see to where he's going to roam. All right, so that's why we walk up all the time to see where he is. Otherwise he might just ult away and we won't notice it. You should die from that, actually, I think. Oh, he might actually live. Yeah, he's going to live. Now, again, he's very low. Can't really do much. So now he has to back. So I have time to take that plate. Now back and then push in the next wave as well. If I stay for another wave, he's going to get tempo. So we just poke him from time to time and then once he's low enough we just look to all in. That's basically the plan here. How do we play this? I won't get out I think. No I won't get out. Very very sad. but. Of course, if you push, if you keep pushing like that, you open yourself up to get ganked, right? That is a that is a possibility. You will get ganked if you keep pushing at the enemy third. It's a trade-off, right? We're playing in a matchup that can potentially counter us, so it is a trade-off. We will always have to do something that might be a bit riskier, otherwise it wouldn't be a bad matchup for us, right? Now again, let's get him a bit low. And he's going to die from that. Boom. And he's dead. So yeah, don't forget, this guy is not that bad. Plat 4, 60% win rate on 260 games with Twisted Fade. I think he's like, uh, like obviously he's still plat, so he's not that good. But I think most people who play League are not plat, right? And definitely not with like a good win rate like that. Wait, Twisted Fade is looking to roam, so I'm going to move to bot lane here as well. Um... But I believe if you're in plat, you're you you're somewhere uh, in between like the best ten percent of league players, so you're not that bad, right? So that means that most people are not that rank. All right. All right. Perfect. We get the double kill. I'm gonna make sure that Rakan can jump onto me. Oh, he can't. Alright, but we're getting ourselves very, very fat here. We're not looking to fight this guy. He has Jack Show. Well, maybe with Grace we actually can. If we can kite him. With Grace we should definitely be able to do that. Alright, perfect. So, so far we're doing really good. If you look at the CS numbers, we're a lot up in CS. We're up three levels in XP as well. 
Um, we have also seven kill participation while the Twisted Fate only has two. So this is basically how you counter uh, how you counter Twisted Fate as Vladimir. Might look to pick off the Sicilian. My Nar is also going for it. Oh, I have to be very careful here. Yeah, I'm going to get ulted here probably. I don't know. You can't really do much about <laughs> Twisted Fate and Mordecai, or they will just run you down. Very unlucky that both of them are in the topside jungle actually. While my Ash was uh, pushing up so far till the enemy third, I thought like, and Drake is spawning as well in a minute, so I thought that at least like Twisted Fate or Mordecai would be bot side. But apparently I was wrong. <laughs> The Twisted Fate is behind, so let's not worry too much about him anymore. And right now let's focus on scaling as well and closing out the game if possible. For that we need our items, so let's go for Death Cap. Then once we have Death Cap we can maybe force a fight. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, I couldn't queue, I couldn't queue. I wanted to queue, but there are so many different targets. Jeez. Alright. My Ash is looking to go onto this Mordekaiser. But this Mordekaiser is so tanky, man. How many times does she have to attack him? She has a Blade of Rune King. He only has a Jack Show and she almost doesn't get through him. I feel like this item is also made for uh, Mordekaiser. I feel like there's no champion who can use or utilize this item more than a Mordekaiser. So yeah, he's a, a raid boss. All right. I don't want to W there. If I W there, I can probably uh, kill him, but I don't know where Twitch is. He could be invisible. Okay, so the entire enemy team is here. This looks like an angle where we're gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. Wait, I might actually live. Okay, we did it. How the tables have turned. How the tables have turned. Holy cow. That's not cursed. <laughs> But holy cow, crazy, crazy. Now let's just back and get our items here. Ah, oh, he is going to walk up, Jesus Christ. I don't know. He literally had the discipline to stop my cancel, uh, my, uh, my recall, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go with Zonias. Um, what do we sell, we sell that. Oh, or they surrender. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you know how to play against Twisted Fate now as Vladimir. And yeah, hopefully I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.